Does that don't recognize a feeling inside itself? It says that I am in the ER. Now leave the recording like that. You never end up in an emergency room quite by, you know, planned. I'm not planning on ending up in the ER tonight. That might be a you know, good outset for a party of suicide people. A suicidal party. Or me? Can't be that. The hell is that? Fuck it. What went wrong? Sleeping snow the pain is highly recommended. This, however, is about a different girl. Same morphine. She tried. Give her relief for the man. Having to speak low because the hospital people kept leaving her door ajar. Letting the sound of the emergency room waiting hall in all the time. In a wishful blue kind of place like that, I felt the quiet was probably better. But when in the room they put me in, the girl is behind a screen, crying for morphine, talking with her mother in a voice that, on the breaking of notes, speaks so much of courage, from a place where it isn't strength, but will one draws from. Will not to worry, to not scare, to not be a reason for losing hope. With someone unknown suddenly at the other side of a hospital being there. Barely able to keep quiet. How they keep telling me that you're only gonna be away a while. Hour after hour. Until he plays drums on a chair. Hums to himself. And once asks via Google Translate. If you want me to keep quiet, I will. If I am bothering you, please let me know. So I don't cause anything to feel amiss to you, Miss Girl Behind Screen. You can just write here on my phone a reply. She writes, please sing some more silly things and something if you can for my mom. She likes the slow sad things like Arabic name that didn't translate into my alphabet, I mean. So I sang. She cried for morphine. Her mother kept calling relatives in Beirut, and they kept talking back and forth. Hour after hour, she would speak strength and courage, like as if her soul didn't, or wouldn't perhaps, want to let her mother see her suffer so much. She cried for morphine when she forgot to be strong. And I couldn't do more than be amazed, humbled, and even fall a little bit in love. But that strength, that spirit, and that heart, that while crying morphine said, and I'm guessing I'm spelling, I don't speak Arabic well, so this might be wrong. But I think you should go something like this. It will all work out fine, mum, don't worry. What did Aunt Ishma say? Our cousins are fine? I'm glad. And I wished for her a morphine only, as is the morphine nightingale. An Italian seraphim for relief troops. To the front. Where pain meets a hospital ward leaves relief far behind. A hospital green screen, anything, that would make her not have to be that strong. That strong. Rarely, if ever, do wishes come true. A nurse comes in, talks to them in rapid fire Swedish, then returns with an enormous syringe full of dick of fucking fennac. I want to scream my head off at her idiocy. You might as well give her paracetamol pills, ibuprofen, or a fucking fizzy thing in a glass of water. 
but you know, something that might actually help. Like, I don't know, relief, some notion. So when I finally go my okay to leave, having had no worse than waiting around forever in that ER ward, for days and evening turned night, she was still crying awful in my sleep. I wrote, you are incredible, so strong, and what a courageous heart you have, and a piece of linen bandage, draped it over the screen, and I left for home. Today I remembered her again, I hope she is well, and that she doesn't have to be that strong anymore. An author's notes. Sister Morphine by the Rolling Stones. Being the basic piece of music and lyrics, the inspiration was drawn from. But mostly it was when the girl depicted in the poem. A solid match of courage, strength, and then the wish from the outside perspective that it wasn't needed. Signed, Jane. 